conformity assessment for your product involves on-site, hybrid or remote auditing, followed by a review of the technical documentation based on the selected conformity assessment route. A QMS assessor will conduct a two-stage assessment of your system to ensure it meets the requirements of the relevant legislation. At Stage 1, we'll review the completeness of your QMS. At Stage 2, we'll review the effective implementation of your QMS and its compliance with the relevant legislation. Assessment routes and the involvement of a notified body or an approved body depend on device classification. To understand which requirements you need to meet, you must classify the device and identify the appropriate conformity assessment route for your product. According to the MDR, the involvement of a notified body is required for all risk classes, except for Class 1 non-sterile, non-reusable and without measuring function devices. According to the IVDR, the involvement of a notified body is required for all risk classes, except for Class A non-sterile products. According to UK regulation, the involvement of an approved body is required for all risk classes except for Class 1 non-sterile and without measuring function devices, and except for self-declared general IVDs. We review the route you chose to confirm its suitability and work with you to execute the most efficient review process. Once we've determined you're compliant with the relevant assessment criteria, BSI issues a certificate. We'll sign a declaration of conformity and apply the mark. Unannounced audits will be performed at least once every five years. But what happens after your product is placed on the market? It's the manufacturer's responsibility to set an effective post-market surveillance and to inform the notified or approved body of adverse events and changes to a medical device or QMS in which it was manufactured. Talk to BSI today and start your journey.